so here i am going to explain you about pumping lemma for context free languages so you already know about pumping lemma for regular language okay so here what is pumping lemma pumping lemma is a negativity test here we are using pumping lemma for context free languages which is used to prove that a language is not a context free okay so we are taking a language l which is context free language then l has a pumping length n such that if we are taking any string w from the language l then the length of that string should be greater than or equal to pumping length then we can divide the string into five parts u v x y z okay so in case of regular language we are dividing the string into three parts okay but in case of context free language we are dividing the string w into five parts u v x y z which should satisfy the conditions u v power i x y power i z belongs to l for every i greater than or equal to 0 we are pumping here v and y only okay in case of regular language it is x y power i z okay that is in case of regular language we are dividing the string into three parts x y z and we are pumping y only x y power i z belongs to l or not right in case of context free language we are dividing the string into five parts u v x y z and we are pumping v and y only that is u v power i x y power i z whether it belongs to language or not okay so con regular language we are dividing into three parts in context free language we are dividing into five parts in how we will divide anyway it should be greater than or equal to pumping length length of the string that is w belongs to the language and this length of w length of the string should be greater than or equal to pumping length in both cases then only we are dividing into different parts so in context free languages we are dividing the string into five parts and it should satisfy the conditions okay v and y are the pumping variable so v y should be greater than zero and v x y should be less than or equal to n so what is a step first we are assuming the l is context free at last we will say the contradiction that is this assumption is wrong okay so we are starting with the assumption that l the language l is context free then we t should have a pumping length n then we are taking a string which the length of the string should be greater than or equal to n then we are dividing the string into five parts then we are uh, trying to satisfying these conditions okay we will say this after pumping it is not belonging to the language it indicates our assumption is wrong that is l is not a context free okay so we are proving a power and b power and c power and such that n greater than or equal to 0 is not a context free language actually this is a context sensitive language okay so we are assuming this is a context free language we are taking some pumping length n and we are trying to we are taking a string which is greater than or equal to pumping length so we are taking the string we are taking the pumping length as 4 okay and we are taking a string 4a 4b and 4c that is a a a a 4a 4b 4c so what is the length of the string here 12 12 is k than or equal to 4 mod w is k than or equal to n this is n right then we are taking uh, the two cases here we we are pumping v and y only okay so v and y each contain only one type of symbol so i am splitting it like this first a is u then 2a i am taking as v then remaining till c i am taking it as x then one c is taking as y you can split according to your choice okay so just i am dividing the given string into five parts then i am pumping v part and y part okay suppose if i is equal to 2 then i will get a string like this see a, how many is here 6 a right 1 2 3 6 a then i am seeing 4 b then again i am seeing a single c then again I am seeing C C. So this is C C. C C C then C C. Okay. So A power 6, B B power 4, C power 5. This is not belongs to our language. Okay. Because equal number of A's followed by equal number of B's followed by equal number of C's. Your numbers are not equal. So anyway, this string is not in the language. So we can prove this is not a 
കോണ്ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഫ്രീ ലാംഗ്വേജ് അവർ അസംഷൻ ഈസ് റോങ് അനദർ കേസ് വി ക്യാൻ ടേക്ക് വി ബോത്ത് വി ആൻഡ് വൈ കണ്ടെയിൻ ഹിയർ വി കണ്ടെയിൻ ടു സിമ്പിൾ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സിമ്പിൾ നോട്ട് ആൾ എ ഓർ നോട്ട് ആൾ ബി നോട്ട് സെയിം സിമ്പിൾ അഗെയിൻ വി ആർ ചൂ പമ്പിങ് വി ആൻഡ് വൈ സോ ഐ വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ സ്ട്രിങ് എ ഫോർ എ പവർ ഫോർ ബി പവർ ടു എ പവർ ടു ബി പവർ ഫൈവ് സി പവർ ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഇൻ ദ ഫോർമാറ്റ് എ പവർ ആൻഡ് ബി പവർ ആൻഡ് സി പവർ ആൻഡ് ഇഫോ ദിസ് സ്ട്രിങ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ബിലോങ്ങിങ്സ് ടു ദ ലാംഗ്വേജ് സോ കണ്ടീഷൻ വൺ ഫെയിൽസ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഷുവർ ദാറ്റ് ദ ഗിവൺ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് എ കോണ്ടെക്സ് ടു ഫ്രീ ലാംഗ്വേജ് സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് വേ യു ക്യാൻ പ്രൂവ് ദാറ്റ് എ ഗിവൺ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് കോണ്ടെക്സ് ടു ഫ്രീ ബൈ യൂസിങ് ബൈ യൂസിങ് പമ്പ